Yes. Well, tēnā koutou katoa. Ni hao, konnitiwa. We are addressing a, a public audience now that is, has become multicultural. O mangi māri e kingi, ko te aroa waka, ko makitū te moana, ko tongarero te manga. And the reason why I'm standing this year is based upon my heritage here as original governing lines. I share with people as the great great granddaughter of Te Puya, Te Paia Puya Kingi. And this is where I also, because of the legacies that are left at the council of Maureen Waka, Ni Kingi and Uncle Modi Ora Kingi, they've left legacies at the council. So my work is about picking up those legacies and continuing. Um, you stood for the mayoralty last time and you That's got right, yes. you got um, 384 votes. Yes. How do you think you'll do this time? Um, I believe that it's just gonna it can only get better. Mm. That's all I uh, positively, mm. yes, it can only get better. So if you were successful in winning the mayoralty, what are the first three things you'd do? First three things I'd do is first I would well of course we'd have to call meetings. Mm -hmm. um, as I've said, I've got to base my stand upon my policies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, that's where it comes back mm -hmm. to reality wise and the order of importance of addressing mm -hmm. those policies. And what are the what are the biggest issues which need to be solved at the moment? What well, you tell me. You tell me what what do you oh, think? Oh no, 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 I'm not standing for the mayoralty. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's there's like I say, it's not just one pinpointed issue. I've written my list of issues that I believe need and I will go on my notes if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. Just quickly, and that the, definitely the council debt. Uh, the city CBD needs addressing. Mm -hmm. We know that we've got a business graveyard mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. We need to investigate. I do research, and that's what I bring my research mm -hmm. investigator studies. And it's on the ground. It's not about sitting in an office mm -hmm. and telling people what to do. It's about going out, getting out, mm -hmm. and going out and walking around. And this is what's happened and finding out. So that's another one. Uh, to address poverty is a huge issue here in Rotorua. A new justice system, that's something that can be looked at too, that we need to talk about. Uh, abolish the Fentons and Clarks Agreement. That's what my work will be about because, believe it or not, we're under old legislation that's 150 years old. So do people and know I what the Fenton and Clarks Agreements that, are? Good point. Yeah. Well, that's where, why haven't people, people don't want to talk about it. The media does not want to talk about it. So a couple of um, quick yes, no questions. Yes, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> um, do you support the Green Corridor? I support I support the sport of it's mountain okay, biking. Yes, no. <laughs> I support this. Well, it's changing, obviously. Yeah. I'm a developer. Hey, this is develop your yes, no strategy questions. Are, yeah, I, I support mountain biking in general. So I think, you know, I love mountain biking, actually. Honestly, I bike all the time. Yeah. So we need something. However, I do not support the past spending of this council and how they've gone about it. How about the, the um, um, changes at City Focus? No, I do not support I that support either. Those. No, it's a wait to me, a waste of money. And to me, I love this, how it used to be. And the Tiarawa Partnership? As, as, as it is at the moment, do you support that? Um, I tried to support it at some time, but then it ended up changing. I found that it belonged to a few little clicky family groups, and I don't like to work that little certain families here, mm -hmm. and it's known here for Nati for Koe that certain families have always had a lot of say more than others. So you don't, don't support like, it as it is at the moment? I don't. I, I supported it at the beginning. That's yeah. a hard question. Yeah. However, we're in a development that I definitely want a Māori council yeah. and it's a question that I've asked everyone so what is your vision for where Rotorua will be in three years time wow that's yes oh you're a strategist all right what's my vision <laughs> like I said I'll just reflect on everything that's there's a lot of past issues I'm a person who believes in the past the present and the future so address some of the past issues that we've discussed mm -hmm. now to move us slow. And it's not huge steps forward, it's these small steps and then all of a sudden we're going to see Rotorua developing itself. And I encourage people to create their own work, start their own businesses, you know, call your own hours, become your own boss. Independence, I promote an independent Rotorua, mm -hmm. our future to be independent and our country to be mm -hmm. an independent. Thank you for inviting me yeah. today. And all the best for your campaign. Thank yeah. you very much, lovely. Thank yeah. you.